So I've got a 3D printer right there actually. And I've had it for a while and I don't know why I've never thought of making any kind of archery gear with it. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. So the first piece of gear we're gonna look at is this shop trainer. Now I just took some string I had laying around and kind of rigged this up. Uh, it's not pretty, but it works. Now with these, all you do is you take your release, clip it onto the end, and now you can practice your shot wherever you're at. Yeah, I actually really like that. It's simple, uh, it's functional. For this first one, I'm gonna give it like a seven out of 10. Pretty easy to make as well on the 3D printer overall. Not too bad, but let's go to the next one. So gear item number two that I printed were these little fletchings. These are kind of meant to slide over your arrow and take the place of your traditional fletching, kind of like a fob. These are real similar. They just slide over the arrow. It looks like they are a four fletch and it looks like there is a slight offset, but I'm pretty skeptical on how well these are gonna work if they are going to actually fly true. So let's get them on some arrows and take them out to the range. All right, we got it loaded up here on the Matthews lift. Uh, well, let's try it out and see what happens. Definitely did not fly straight, but let's shoot other the other two and then we'll see how they grouped. That one actually looked pretty good. Let's go check it out. Sounds as they were flying down range. Don't know if that means anything, but uh, I think they hit kind of all over the place. Curious to see if they even stayed on the arrow, and it doesn't look like they did. Cool. Okay, so upon further inspection, they did not fall off. They were actually still on the arrow. Let's check this out. I mean, they flew. Let's get them out of here and see if they held up. Now would I trust these in a hunting situation? Definitely not. Maybe with a ton of testing and printing in a stronger plastic. There is definitely a lot more plastic types out there that are stronger than this. But otherwise, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it on this one. So after using the fletchings and closer examination, I didn't notice this out of the range, literally every single one that I used broke. If you look right here, there's a section right there missing. Same on this one. And then obviously this one had two sections break right there and right there. Again, I'm not using the strongest plastic and that really speaks to the actual print quality. There are changes you can make to the printing process. Stronger plastics you can use. Uh, so with maybe enough tinkering and testing, you could find a combination that works really well. But overall, I mean, you saw the results. I wasn't too impressed with these out of the range. But for this one, I'm honestly going to give it like a 2 out of 10. Really not worth the time. So let's go to the next one. So our next one looked kind of cool, but I know probably not going to work super well. And that is a stabilizer. Now, the purpose of a stabilizer on a bow is to add a little weight and to stabilize the bow. And this thing weighs nothing. It is completely made out of plastic, weighs nothing. Um, but I do have an idea for this thing. Let's attach it to a bow. So this is my son's bow. Uh, it came with everything you need to shoot. Quiver, some arrows, a sight. It came with a rest, even though I took it off. Put on this whisker biscuit. A uh, little tip for those with kids shooting bows. Whisker biscuits are awesome. The only thing it didn't have was a stabilizer. So let's put this thing on here. Not too bad. Now his bow is completely set up and he's got a little stabilizer on the front. I think he's really going to like that. Uh, practical? Not really. This is probably the only use case I could think of something for something like this. So for this one, uh, I'm going to give it like uh, a 4 out of 10. 
cool but not really practical and can't really use it on your hunting rig so stabilizer well, let's go to the next one so this next one i gotta be honest i've actually been using for a while now i didn't recently just print it out i've got a couple of them actually and that is this pocket quiver now this thing is awesome i use it almost every time i go out to the range really simple basic design you slide it in your back pocket put an arrow or two or three or this one can hold seven and you have an instant quiver you keep your arrows close at hand and they're always within arm's reach overall honestly i've got to give this one like a nine out of ten i use it every time i go to the range very useful uh very practical i mean this is what a normal pocket quiver would be made out of is this plastic material so overall this is exactly what i had in mind when using my 3d printer to make some archery accessories and this is perfect so nine out of ten let's go to the last one so the last piece of gear we're going to take a look at is one i printed out because i have arrows laying everywhere i have a bunch of arrows and nothing really to do with them nowhere to store them so we have a little arrow stand thing this is the top this is the bottom and it has these little holes that you can attach it and screw into the wall uh, I've got some command strips I'm going to use to attach it just so I can test it out, see where I want to put it, if it even works, and then maybe we'll attach it somewhere. But let's try it out. Right about there, maybe. Good enough. Not too bad, actually. Now that it's up on the wall, I think I'm actually just going to leave it there. Really like this one. Each one holds 12 arrows, and if I wanted to, I could print out a whole bunch of them and just put them wherever I want. So I'm going to give this one uh, like 8 out of 10. Really like it. So that's probably going to be it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If there's any other pieces of gear you think I could print out and want to test out, let me know down below maybe i'll do future videos printing out other hunting gear or more archery gear uh, i really have fun with the 3d printer it can do a lot of cool things and really had fun making this one testing out different pieces of gear so let me know what you want to see down below and we'll catch you in the next video